the internet, my name is Susley and welcome back to my channel. Today we're watching the Lady Gaga music video. Now this seems out of the blue, but I've been actually thinking about this for a while. The Mary the Night music video came out in 2011. My best friend has been a huge Gaga fan ever since we became friends, so he was kind of the reason why I got into her in the first place, like the reason that I really started standing her. And I remember watching this video many times, but in 2011 I was 16 years old, and while I did understand a good amount of English. I was still a wee little baby with zero, you know, experience and life stuff. I didn't <laughs> didn't know shit about life. And I don't think I just understood the weight and the actual truth and message of that video. Like I understood it on the surface, but for a long time I've been feeling like I need to revisit this video because it's a work of art that I definitely did not fully appreciate back then. I haven't seen this music video in literal years. I genuinely don't remember when was the last time I fully watched it in full, just like fully concentrated on the music video, not just casually listening to the song. So it'll be fun to revisit this, don't you all think? But before we start, as always, if you enjoy my videos and if you like supporting me beyond watching them, please consider supporting me through Patreon. I'll put a link to the page in the description and in the pinned comment below the video. And thank you so much to the people who are already supporting me there. Thank you guys. Your support means the world to me. I'm super grateful. But yeah, let's watch the 13 minute long as Mary the Night music video and bask in the glory of the artistry of Lady Gaga. As you could probably already tell from my channel, I'm a huge Gaga stan. So like, I know I love this. There is no secret to it. I've seen it. But I just want to experience it as an adult and truly understand it and discuss it with y'all. When I look back on my life, it's not that I don't want to see things exactly as they happened. It's just that I prefer to remember them in an artistic way. Mm -hmm. And as the artist of that painting, I must fill in all the ugly holes and make it beautiful again. Oh. It's not because I think it's romantic. And I also believe that mint will be very big in fashion next year. <laughs> I can't believe this. Check out this nurse on the right. She's got a great ass. <laughs> I, I knew this monologue by heart at one point. But like, the truth it is, hits me back then at the clinic in a whole new way. And that girl on the left, she ordered gummy bears and a knife a couple hours ago. They only gave her the gummy bears. I'd wish they'd only given me the gummy bears. Well, that's... That's the edgy shit that you say when you're trying to be edgy on purpose. Wow. I never realized just how absurd this is, like how much absurdity there is in these conversations and the, the fact that she literally has a purse with freaking cigarettes in it and takes one out. I'm gonna be a star. You know what? This was such an iconic line. Oh, baby. Oh. I have nothing left to lose. This is genuinely so underrated. Like, honestly, the song in this video. I still don't know what she asked for here, but mood. Anything that contains music. Of course, you have to be a fashion icon. You can't just, like, you know, be a normal person. Because being normal is just... You know, what's normal anyway? This whole setup is... You know, like, I never realized just how absurd it is, once again. Oh, I forgot about this part. I love the lighting here. Oh, I remember this part very vividly. Wait, wait, what? There was cereal in this part. I remember cereal. I love how the crossfades, not the crossfade, but fade transitions are white instead of black. Oh. 
Why do they why did they do French su subtitles? This part was so cool. Oh yeah, it's the serial part. I love how this is Feels a lot more real. And back then I didn't understand why the, the, the bleach was blue if her hair turned out white. Now I understand. <laughs> After dyeing my hair for a couple years, now I understand. I really love this scene though. Also, did they just like die? Pretend to die a wig? You may say oh my god. I lost everything, but I still had my bedazzler. <laughs> we didn't understand back then what bedazzler meant, so we kind of thought it was like super inspiring, <laughs> but it's also very like comical and you know, absurd. And I did what any girl would do. I also didn't understand what that meant back then. I also really love that outfit in the scene. Also, that transition from the dome to the moon. Oh yeah, that's good shit. Oh my god, oh my god, this this part. Seriously, this is such an underrated video. Like fucking Gaga on a car when everything's burning. Fucking badass as shit. Oh, I never noticed the the Louboutins. I mean, I guess I didn't know back then what they even were. <laughs> I didn't know a lot of things. <laughs> Strange what eight years can do. I love how everything is just like in that monologue at the start. You know, like it's all very extra. It's all very artistified. <laughs> But, in a sense, it's also true. I still can't believe that the song in the video was paid dust so much. It's such a masterpiece. Also, I love her hair in this... In this shots, in her outfits. Oh, what don't I love about her? <laughs> oh, hell yeah. I dare you to tell me that that's not iconic. This is so fucking hot, I love her! This is so good. Oh yeah, one thing I remember from this scene is that like at first she's dancing in the back, and then later she's leading. Also, why is her bra small on purpose? I love this look though. God, oh my god, I miss this. I'm just watching this choreo. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, this, this move, oh my god, it looks so fucking good. Ah! Oh my god, I forgot how beautiful this bridge is. Look at her go. This is so wonderful. I miss this. Aww. Oh yeah, that shot was cool too. I was like, let's analyze this video, but now it's like, I miss the gorgeous way era so much! Oh, I love this shot. The bath shots are so cool. Like, a lot of people do them, but like, this especially looks really cool. Ooh! Oh, I forgot about this! Oh my god! Oh my god, a grey blue lipstick! I forgot! Oh my god, that's so cool! I'm a hoe for weird colored lipstick and weird colored hair. <laughs> this is a part where a lot of things happen. And like, it's so fast that... Huh. It's hard to catch everything. Oh, I... I forgot about this ending. Oh my god! Oh my god, that ending is so cool! Ah, uh, her 
were born this way era with all the aliens and then weird shit all oh, fuck I miss it so much so this was, as I expected, a journey. <laughs> I feel like I understood it back then, like I said, on the surface, but it really, really makes sense, you know, like this entire video. I, I didn't realize how, just how ironic and absurd that whole long ass intro was. You know, like her, her saying, I, you may say I lost everything, but I still had my bedazzler. Like I said, we had no idea what the bedazzler even was. So like me and my friends thought it was like poetic or some shit, but it's literally the thing that you bedazzle things with and I love her outfit in that scene and like there are just so many little details that like you watch it and you're like oh I didn't get that back then and I feel with music videos like this where it's largely biographical but very artistic it's so beneficial and so important to rewatch them after a while Gaga went through a lot on her way to fame and during her career and I just love what a beautiful piece of art this is showcasing like she said not in a dishonest way in a way it's more honest than the actual reality i absolutely loved her acting out a breakdown with all that cereal and just dyeing your hair impulsively <laughs> like that's such a mood like okay you know like i'm having a bad day hmm maybe i should change my hair color no it's not not just a bad day you're like having a bad month and you're like maybe i feel better if i change my hair color so that was very relatable there are many things that are relatable that i did not understand as a 16 year old watching this music video and i feel like this is is hugely underrated because I see people you know talk about Judas which was also very hated on at the time you know like nowadays I see the fandom talk about Judas oh look at those good old times you know Judas was such a cool music video but Mary the Night still remains quite underrated like this is incredible in its own way it's a little bit less deep and a little bit more funny than I remember it like that whole monologue at the start you know like with the nurses and describing how they're wearing designer clothes because you know why not because it's cool. Like, I never fully understood the purpose of it being that way, of her saying that, of her making those artistic choices, and now I do, and it feels great. So yeah, I wonder how I will view it another eight years later. We will see. But yeah, speaking of older Gaga music videos, let me know if you want me to react to any of her other stuff, because, you know, I, I'm a Gaga stan, I listen to her stuff frequently, and I've heard all of her songs millions of times, and I've watched all of her music videos millions of times, but some of them I haven't seen in years. So let me know if you want to see another video like this and make sure you subscribe to this channel and stay tuned because i will be reacting to whatever new stuff gaga releases as i have been for the past two years that i've had this channel and yeah thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you next time i love you guys bye